Thanks, guys. You know, everybody's gotten a scam by an email that says, you know, you just inherited a million dollars. You know, we need you to send us your social security number, your next of kin, and gosh only knows what else. So I'm here to talk to um, P police PIO uh, Lieutenant Ryan Frazier about what scams are out there right now. Lieutenant, thanks for joining us. Ah, it's good to be here. Um, can you just give us an example of a few different kinds of scams? Sure. So we see a wide variety of scams here in the county and really around the nation. So one of the most popular is an IRS scam where uh, you'll get a phone call and it'll be a person claiming to be an IRS agent on the phone. Uh, usually they have a heavy accent because it's usually from out of the country and they claim that you owe money in taxes. And if you go to the store, get some prepaid gift cards, call them back with a number that's on the back so they can activate the card then an, a, an, a warrant won't be issued for your arrest. So obviously that's a huge scam. Uh, no company, whether it be the IRS or BGE or the water company, will ask you to pay your bill in any type of prepaid cards. Um, another quite common issue that we have is, uh, especially with the weather getting warmer, we have contractors that go around knock door to door and we have uh, contractors that say they'll pave your driveway, do some yard work or do some work around the house. And those individuals tend to get a little uh, uh, they'll tend to get a little rough with you. They may be a little bit more ignorant, might, may not be as, so as nice, and uh, they tend to kind of swindle people and make people feel like that they have to pay them money for work that's not either up to the quality, up to par that it's supposed to be, or for work that's not even completed whatsoever. Um, another scam that we, that we have seen in the past is individuals that pose as either BGE employees or work for the water company. And they'll come and they'll simply knock on your door and they'll tell you that you owe money to BGE or the water company. Again, a lot of times they'll ask for those prepaid gift cards for payment. Um, so again, it's just very important to uh, just be cognizant of what's going on around you. So just a couple little tips for these things is just always keep your eyes and ears open. So uh, a lot of people feel like if somebody comes and knocks on their door that they have to open the door. And I'm here to tell you, you don't. If you don't feel comfortable with somebody on the other side of the door, then simply don't open it, don't answer the door, or start conducting your business through the closed door. That way you have the safety of a locked door there. Um, always ask for some type of a photo identification, even though these crooks nowadays are getting quite savvy. Um, you know, a lot of times they'll wear a BGE shirt or they'll have a fake employment badge. So uh, just conduct your business through a closed door. You don't have to open that door. And again, if something doesn't feel right, trust your instincts. If it doesn't seem right, it's probably not right. And usually IRS, you know, a government agency likes that, usually sends a letter. Is that correct? Yeah, they do. They conduct all their business by mail. Uh, they will not charge you any money. They don't just issue a warrant for your arrest. You'll be contacted several times. And same thing with BGE. They don't just shut people's power off. Uh, right. these, these crooks will threaten, if you don't pay me now, we're going to shut your water off and, or, or your power off. And, uh, and they don't do that. So they simply don't do that. They send out several notifications. Um, so, so you'll know if it's, if it's an official from BG, uh, if you're served something through the mail. Okay. Now, I know these are happening all over the county. Um, what should people do if they feel like they've been scammed? Well, if you feel like you've been scammed, certainly call 911. That's what we're here for. Uh, certainly, if this is in progress, if you have somebody that's in your neighborhood or someone that's outside your door that you feel is a scammer, please call 911. Let us come out. Let us check them out. Um, BGE, certainly call BGE. They have a 1-800 number that you can call if you feel like you've been scammed by them uh, or by an individual that is a, uh, appears to be a BGE employee. And uh, same thing with the IRS. IRS has a 1-800 number. You can go online to BGE or to the IRS, and they have a drop-down box where you can re uh, report crimes. Great. And, of course, they can contact the County Executive's Office of Constituent Services should they have any kind of um, need, uh, a BGE need contact number or IRS. So, well, Lieutenant, um, is there anything else that you'd like to comment on? Uh, no, just again, just a couple safety tips. Always feel like you can call the police department. That's what we're here for. We're here to serve you. Uh, you know what belongs in your neighborhood. You know the people that belong in your neighborhood. So keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, and if something doesn't seem right, it's probably not right. Trust your instincts and give us a call. Let us come out and check them out. All right, great. Thanks, Lieutenant. Thanks very much. Well, back to you guys.